What's up, Style Babes? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's Tianj Oriana, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'll be doing a wig from Love Me. They sent me over their 5x5 loose wave closure wig, and it is in 14 inches. This is what it looks like straight out of the packaging. It came with curls, but I did go ahead and bleach and plug it off camera, so the curls did, of course, drop. And in today's video, I'll be showing y'all how I get a middle part with curls, trying to almost mimic the picture on their website. So I'm just pressing it out right now and then I'm gonna get into the curls. All right, so now we're on the curling proportion. So this is a one inch curling iron from Con Air. I have another one, but this one is my favorite one. And when I'm curling like a wig, I like to do it, like the back of the head is all curled the same way. As you can see, I didn't switch the angle or anything. It's literally curled the same way. But when I get to the front of the head, I like to curl away from the face. So that is at a different angle. And I will show y'all how I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and add some Gatsby Insta Hold. This is the Flexi Insta Hold. So it's almost like a Sebastian spray if you've seen the white bottle because it's not a harsh hold. It's actually like a light, flexible hold. So I am in the front of the head and I curl it. I curl, I think this is the, what is this? This is the left side. So I do curl it the same way that I curl the back of the head. And then when I get to the right side of the head, I like to curl it the opposite way. So it'll be, it'll be going away from my face, if that makes sense. And I like to curl it on like a mannequin head or my own head or my client's head, um, just so I can see how it looks rather than a canvas head. Okay, so now for the style and proportion, I'm going to go in with this Ruby Kisses Cream Contour Palette I got from my beauty supply store. And it's almost the same shade as the LA Girl Pro Concealer Warm Honey. Like, it's literally the same shade. So now I'm just going to apply the wig on. And as you can see, I use the elastic band that is provided for you. Because this wig can be 100% glueless. I'm going to show y'all how snug it feels even if I didn't want to use any glue. And I also will show y'all how it looks after I cut the lace so it is pretty seamless. So you do not have to wear any glue or any kind of hairspray if you did not want to because this wig is 100% glueless. So this is the clip that I was talking about. As you can see, it is seamless. It blends right in. And if I wanted to, I did. I don't have to use any kind of spray or glue because it is pretty snug on the head. So I am gonna go in with this even, uh, I think it's the, oh yeah, it's the Lace Bond Wonder Spray. And I'm gonna use the active one. The active one is the red bottle. Usually I use the black one, it's the Supreme Hold. But uh, today I did go in with the red one. And I went in with about maybe two, 
two layers yeah about like two layers of that um and i don't let it dry or get tacky i just apply it right on and i go in with my elastic band just to make sure that everything is nice and seamless and off camera i did use the blow dryer and as you can see it is nice and seamless it blends in even more and you can stop there and not add baby hairs but i love adding baby hairs so i am gonna add some um nothing too crazy just some little baby hairs jazz it up a bit And now I'm going to go in with my mini flat iron and do my baby hairs. Um, you don't need one. They're just nice to have. Uh, I got this from my local beauty supply store. I think it was like $15, $20. This is the Red Brand by Kiss. And yeah, it's a really good flat iron. So I did go in with that same exact adhesive spray. And I just used that to lay down my baby hairs. I was trying to get like a fluffy look. But it wasn't laying down for me. So I did end up using a little bit of mousse. This is the finishing product. As you can see, that lace blends right in perfectly with my skin. And this is how the curls look. I feel like I could have definitely used maybe like a bigger curling iron just to get that same exact look that the mannequin had on their website but still it came out very cute i love the way that it came out um i didn't get any videos of me talking about the hair so this is just a bunch of clips that i did take of me just showing off how flawless this hair looks um like i said all the information will be left down below in the description box and i will leave their link down below as well don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new here if you are returning do not forget to like turn on the bell so you are notified every single time that i post and i will see y'all in my next one bye style babes